So you may have heard the Pope's stunning announcement yesterday. The head of the Catholic Church said that he now endorses same-sex civil unions. It was all part of an interview he did for a new documentary. Pope Francis also said that homosexual people have the right to be in a family, calling them children of God. He went on to say, you can't kick someone out of a family or make their life miserable for being gay. So this is a huge change for the Catholic Church, right? Which has been fighting for years to prevent legal recognition of same-sex unions. What do you make the change? Too little, too late? Or hey, big step forward. Big step forward. You know, I want to look at the positive in this, right? It should have been changed decades ago, but it, but it wasn't. It is changed now, and I'm glad staunch in their ways was a term you used earlier. The Catholic Church is staunch yes. in their ways for hundreds of thousands of years. For them to make this change is a huge step. And I understand people still like, well, listen, they I didn't feel this way when I was a kid. I felt left out. Uh, listen, I'm not trying to tell anybody how they feel or how they should feel. I'm looking at what this means and what this is for the Catholic Church. I think we need to amend some of our own government laws that were made in 1776. Times change. People need to change. Amendments need to change. We are all children of God, especially under whatever religion you are. Nobody should be segregated from that. You should all feel that love. Amen. Erica. I think obviously this is a huge step forward, but it's also going to create um, some interesting conversations with people who have been kicked out of their homes, disowned by their families. Um, a lot of people are gonna have to have a reckoning on if it really is about the religion or if they're truly homophobic. And I hope that people take some time and do some inner searching within themselves in order to figure out where they should be and who they are. Yeah, Erica, I totally agree with you. And I also think that there's going to, be, listen, I, I, I Jeff, you said it best, let's focus on the positive. But it can't be so simple, and I'm not saying that was your point. There needs to be some sort of um, follow-up, so to speak. The church needs to make reparations, make some, they need to extend an olive branch because I know so many of my dear friends that were abandoned by their church, hence also abandoned by their families for being LGBTQ, which led to them either living on the street selling drugs, doing what they had to do because they're a teenager with no resources possible. So they have a disdain for the church, not all of them. I also have friends that are LGBTQ and they have a great relationship with the church, but I wanna see that, that, that bridge built again, so to speak. So kudos to the Pope. I do think that the Catholic faith, uh, Catholic faith as well as Christianity are going to have to do some sort of, um, I don't, I don't know how, how to even put well, it, but well, it's going to have to be a rollout of, of reform and almost like programs to try to make things right again. Right. Well, you're talking about building a bridge. This is a huge boulder yes. to put onto that bridge, right? And I understand people see it the other way. I totally get your point. But you have to look at the positive in life, right? I'm not talking about this. I'm just talking about in general. Man, I lived in a one-bedroom apartment my whole life. Now I have a, ho a, a, a huge house. Well, you know what? I think I need a nice car. Uh, once I get that nice car, you know what? I think I need a golf cart to take me from A to B. It's like, listen, let's focus on what we have. I'm not talking about now the Catholic Church. I'm talking about personally. Focus on what you have. Be happy for what you have and move forward. This is a giant boulder, like I said, in that bridge to build that camp. Yes, and we need to keep building it. I agree with you there. Erica, don't go away. Coming up on DBL, Sasha Baron Cohen, you guys.